All right, so let's go ahead and do problem 2.5, Yadani. So the problem reads, for the spring assemblage shown, obtain the global stiffness matrix by, by the direct stiffness method. So they gave us the K values for each one. Um, one kilopound per inch, two, three, four, and five. So it should be pretty straightforward. Um, it looks crazy, but it's really not. You'll see why. Let's get started. All right, so this problem, I don't see it being a midterm or like a final problem or like a little quiz by week two or week three or something because we just got to find the global stiffness matrix. No forces, no no displacement, so should be pretty straightforward. Um, don't get confused. Don't get nervous. Um, it looks a little complicated, but you got one node right here, uh, node two right here, node four, and node three. This is spring one, spring two, spring three, spring four, and spring five. So four nodes, meaning it's gonna be a four by four matrix. Um, five springs, um, all different values. So luckily it's just one kilopound per inch, two, three, four, five, right? They give it to us. So just like always, right? Let's go ahead and do the little matrices. So K1 is gonna be um, from nodes one to two, so one, two, and then one, two here, right? And the value is one kilopound per inch. So one, negative one, negative one, one. K2 is from nodes two to four, right? This spring right here. It's from two to four. So we got two, four, two, four. That value, K2 is two. So two kilopounds, negative two, negative two, and two kilopounds per inch. Next one, K3, and that one is also between nodes two and four. So K3, two, four, two, four. That is three kilopounds, right? We're in K3 now. K3 is three kips per inch. So three, negative three, negative three, and three. We got K4. We just pretty much do this for all of them. That one is between nodes two and four, right? This one right here. Uh, two, four, two, four. And that value is four, four, negative four, negative four, four, right, right here. Last one's five. So K5 is between nodes four and three. So four, three, um, be careful. It's not three, four, it's four, three from left to right. Okay, just uh, be careful on that. Uh, four, three. And then that one is five, negative five, negative five, five. So not too much to this problem. Now we make the, the big matrix. It's a four by four again, four nodes. So it's a four by four. Um, K is equal to, let's put one, two, three, four. This is one two, three, four. Okay. So from one to two, it's from one to two and then one to two, one to two. So it's this little four, two by two. So it is one, negative one, negative one, one, right? I just move these here. Next one. So that one's done. Two to four. So it's going to be this position, this position, then two, four, it's gonna be this position, this position. So that is gonna be K22, two, two, which is this one right here, we add it to one. So this number is two plus one, this one is gonna be a three, okay, three. Because we added it, two plus the one here, they're both on K22, two, two, position K22, two, two, so that's a three. Uh, so that's 
that was that two that we added at k24 which is here that's a negative two then we got a negative two here at k42 right and then a two okay cool we're done with that one now same position so that's the thing about these three look they're all at nodes two and four between two and four, four. So we're gonna just mess with these four posts for the next two more matrix, for the upcoming two more matrices. So add three to this, negative three to this, negative three to this, and three to this. So if you do that, this will become a nine. I'm sorry, a six, you add. Um, this is going to be a negative 5, and this will also be a negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5, and this one, 2 plus 3, that's going to be a 5. Okay, so we're done with that one. Let's go to K4, same positions. Add 4 to this one. This is going to be a 10. 10. Negative 4 here right because of that and then a uh, negative four to this one then a four to this one so negative four negative four this, these are both going to be negative nines we're adding them not sub, not um multiplying or anything like that so negative nine negative nine and five plus four that's going to be a nine Ugh. crappy eraser but I'm hoping you can see it. That's a nine. And cool. So from four, okay. K44, four, four, right? That's a five. So that four, four is right here. We're going to add a five to this. This is going to be 14. Um, K43, which is this position, negative five. Again, this is row four column three so row four column three then at row three column four it's a negative five so row three column four it's a negative five and finally at three three which is here that's just a five and that's your answer so just fill in zeros where you didn't have anything else but that is the global stiffness matrix so like i said um don't get confused when you see this drawing. I know you, I mean, I haven't even seen it, but thing is just stay consistent with the method and you will be all right. But that's how you do that one. Pretty straightforward.